Hey everyone, it's me, Empress Arcana, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. Hi guys. So, here we have a collective tarot reading for you guys. Um, so, yeah. I, oh, was that my dog? It's like she knows I'm recording. She does this every time. Uh, yeah. I had so many things I wanted to say, but... I will say this, this is the one thing that stuck before I started recording. Um, I hope that you're all doing well, that you're safe, and are winding down if it's the end of your day, or relaxing, or taking a moment to breathe, whatever it may be, I hope you're taking time for yourself. If there's anything I've noticed, for many, um, it has been a very long year, <laughs> It's so, it's surreal to, to realize that, wow, it's already October. For some, that's like dreadful because the year has gone by so quickly, but I don't feel it has really, but it does at the same time. So I hope that you guys are all taking care of yourselves, taking care of each other and, uh, reminding yourselves that you are worth that time and effort to take a breather and just relax when needed, okay? So that's what I wanted to start off with. I hope you guys are doing well. I am, I only got a couple of decks here. I am going to be using my number one, my first tarot deck. Whenever I bring her to the table, it's always very special. So I'm using her and I'm using the before and after tarot along with, um, I forgot the name of it, but it's a Lenormand deck that is, uh, has influences of the Rider weight and the Sun Oracle. And yeah, all right. Let's get intuitive, okay? All right. We're going to first start off with my number one. <laughs> all right. What is the collective needing right now to hear? Also, the tarot dice... Um, this time it's a major arcana. It is justice and it's upright. So this is, it's, it's quite, um, perfect for this Libra season. Um, excuse me. And <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I can't, I, if I start talking too fast or I start talking, I just start hiccuping. I, I hate it. <laughs> um, <laughs> But we have here justice, the balancing of it all. And it's just interesting because there's just so much of that going on. And for some of you, you have been seeking your own inner balance or balance within your environment. So this is an indicator that things are coming into balance, especially during this Libra season. Okay, so let's see what comes through. Okay. We have strength and we have the two of wands starting off. Okay. I don't know why I got, I started feeling anxious all of a sudden. I wasn't feeling it in the beginning. Hmm. Being watched from afar. Okay. What else is coming through? Okay. The two of um, pentacles with the six of pentacles. Hmm. A lot of balancing, giving and receiving. Balance. Oh my gosh. Infinity, infinity. There's a lot of. Oh. Okay, let me see if I can channel. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, all right, I need to take off my glasses for this. <laughs> okay. In the strength card, there is a desire to stay in control of your situation, 
but you feel it's so far away. For some of you, there might be a choice to be made. Holding the world in your hands, but feeling like it doesn't matter if you have the world in your hands. You still feel like the choice, something about this choice, you feel it's out of your hands, even though it's still within your power. Oh, are we starting off strong or what? Okay. <sighs> okay. So with the strength card, I am feeling an energy that I'm not in control. I don't have a say in this. <laughs> Nothing. Everything points to one thing. I have no choice. That's what I'm hearing. But you clearly do. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, can't, I poked the, the, the pop filter. You clearly do. You clearly have a choice here. It's reiterated in the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles, there's this balancing of the practical and utilizing. It's this, this cycle, this cycle, it's this cycle. You feel that you have to balance it on your own. But the Six of Pentacles is saying, no, no, you don't have to do that. You are... In good company, you have another watching over you. But there is this feeling, this apathy. See, this is exactly it. This is the energy. Someone's handing you something, but you're ignoring it. Or someone, there is an energy of no, no, no. Being stuck in a certain way of thinking, feeling. It's like, but I have a, I have an oppor opportunity. I have, <laughs> I have this cup here. I can help you. It might not seem like much, but I'm here to help. You see, I I see that there's a lot of like looking away, because the individual here in the Four of Cups is like dismissive of the cup being handed to, to them. In the two of wands, the person knows that there's a decision and it's a heavy one because with uh, the representation of the globe in one in, in one's hand, yes, it could be, what I'm picking up is very heavy energy in the collective right now is a huge shift, um, as in they're always right, but um, I feel right now I, I like to talk about this too because every time I channel it's different and I feel like I can't breathe. I feel like it's a tightening in my chest and my throat like I can't speak. And when that starts happening to me, that's intense. It's like I want to say something, but what does it matter? Whatever choice I make, it's not going to change anything. I don't know why. I'm going to get from another deck to see if I can... Or, yeah, see, the bottom of the deck card is the Knight of Pentacles, which is slow energy, but still being handed a coin. There's, yeah, okay, there is this energy that you want to be in control, but not having the patience for this, um, for something to come to fruition, having, like, lost faith for a moment, maybe a moment of weakness. Damn it. Dude, this is a, t this is heavy energy. Yo, collective chill. Okay. Listen, <laughs> I had a near death experience the other day. Listen, <laughs> can you hand me something lighter? <laughs> there is, yeah, wanting to walk away. Wanting to walk away, fam. Saying, no, this is not. You've put so much effort into a project, into a relationship, into something. 
And that's why Libra, a Libra, <laughs> I said Libra, justice, <laughs> ruled by Libra, but justice is coming through. Let me tell you something, guys. This is the moment, okay? Something is reaching fruition. I might, I'm probably going to talk, I'm going to sound crazy. Oh, well, you can click away <laughs> before the crazy talk. I might get a little emotional because I'm always emotional. <laughs> That's not new on this channel. <laughs> I feel it. You guys want to stay in control over, over a matter, but you feel that no matter how hard you've worked, you're not going to see the fruit of your labor, of everything, but you feel like you have to do it alone. Okay. And it shows here like this, I'm tired. I'm tired of, of being in this, you know, I'm picking up reversed emperor energy, honestly, like alchemizing this concoction here. It's taking forever. I, I imagine someone like having contents going from one cup to the other, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, trying to change, alchemize the contents, like turn water into wine per se, right? And you're going back and forth and it's still water. And it's still water. And it's like, why I've been doing this for so long? When is it going to turn into wine? When am I going to taste the sweetness of this drink that I've been working so hard to, to obtain? Well, that's interesting because with that, someone is handing you the wine. Someone is handing you the drink. You got to be kinder to yourself because I'm seeing that you're being handed something or helped on. That's why we have the six of pentacles. It's assistance. It's like you do not have to do everything on your own. You are not alone and you can open up and trust a little more. Uh, you can, you don't have to walk away. See, walking away from all these cups, walking away because you're tired, because the journey to deliver this coin, this valuable coin to wherever your destination may be has taken so long. This is, um, yeah, you're wounded. You have gone through so much. You're like bandaged up and you're saying, wow, how much more can I take? Oh, okay. There you go. We have the lovers here. So again, that's a card of choices on top of the same, you know, the usual, like the lovers, um, I don't know why I thought the word dynamic, um, oneness with one another, a paradise after a reward, after so long, this journey and the lights flickered. Great. <laughs> I'm just going to put all the cards on the table. Okay. Yeah. Look at this. I, the, 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 did it? <laughs> the deck is speaking so loudly I, I can't even there's so much going on in the collective that I what I am seeing here is the desire for completion the desire to reach it but feeling that this desire this um completion has to be reached on your own you can reach conclusions on your own it's your world your decisions yada yada but there is there's help there's assistance, there's something or someone you can trust that you don't have to take on all the burden. I'm hearing, I need water. Mm. Mm. Sorry. Dan, oh, that's so beautiful. You see guys, yes. The moment you let go of these pentacles that's very interesting. I call this the fourth pentacle is the security blanket, what you're used to, what you hold on to. Damn, you guys, that's tough, <laughs> tough energy here. Um, the moment you let go. Oh, shit. Yeah. He's, oh my gosh. You see, you see here. Beautiful, beautiful. Where's, where's the fourth? There we go. Let me get it. 
letting go and there's another four four of cups letting go of the <clears throat> okay I need a moment there's so much this deck is just taking taking the, the stage it's like I have stuff to say and I'm like yo this is heavy let me let me process but it's important it's good I feel like um, I feel someone crying but on the outside they're apathetic they're like no nothing's wrong with me nothing nothing at all yes there you go they're looking at cups that have been these are all the attempts at making the water into wine, the proverbial water to wine. It's like, but they're still too standing. This is, oh fam, I want to remind you guys that. <laughs> it, I was actually thinking about this. Um, I wanted to, I, it's coming back to me. It was a message that I wanted to deliver and I had forgotten. One of many, I had so many things to say because I've been in contemplation and doing a lot of um, thinking about a lot of things. Um, but no, no. You haven't lost anything. You've gained a new perspective, a new way of loving, a new you, a new part of you. You don't have to Hold to yourself, your resources, your emotions. The Four of, of Cups is like this holding back of emotions. Not wanting to... Not wanting to share. Not wanting to share these emotions with someone. And no, no you, if you don't have to hold back they're not burdensome I'm hearing I yeah you're working toward this revelation but you're pushing yourself away to a point of isolation and you're gonna feel this abandonment strongly if you continue to fall into this mindset or feeling, I got to do this on my own. Sure, that's okay. You can do that. But it's okay to also open up to someone that you trust to talk about what you're feeling, to talk about um, what's inside your heart, what's weighing on you. Okay, that's oh, what I'm seeing. Because look, by accepting that, there's a lot of cards that catch my attention here. <sighs> Shining a light on this end, this end of a cycle. You've done a lot of inner work. You have to pat yourself on the back, congratulate yourself. You've done the work. You've been working so hard. I don't know why I, I am compelled to say I am proud of you. Yes, you might not know me, <laughs> you know, whatever, but I am proud of you because you've been doing the work. It's not easy. Shadow work isn't easy. Doing any kind of work can become so complicated, especially when it's work on yourself. It's so easy to just bottle it all up and project onto others or whatever cycle that might lead to but I see collective I see you have been doing the work and I'm proud of you it's not easy but you're doing it so again the cycle can't even get the card oh my god I'm so sorry the cycle of loneliness of fear of failure, thinking that you failed at something. It's all an illusion. Because look, by letting go just a little bit, 
by letting go of the hold that you have on your on your security blanket on your emotions that you don't want to acknowledge possibly you're going to reach a completion an understanding and you're not going to be doing it alone and yes it's a leap of faith absolutely but it's going to help propel you to manifest everything everything you've been wanting and more and yes I know that sounds like so maybe some of you are like oh that's too good to be true it's okay when the moment is right you will see where is it you will see these two cups here okay still standing in fact you can make as many as you want you can make all the water into wine you can make I don't know why I keep using that analogy I'm so sorry <laughs> it just keeps popping up you are an alchemist. You are creating the best version of yourself. Okay? And you're not alone doing it. You're not alone doing it. Okay. Okay, this... You spoke too much, Deck. <laughs> I gotta... Uh, you're grounded. <laughs> too much too much emotions here um let's see what can i do <laughs> um i'll get some of these is this the actually i'm gonna get from here first okay energy of now energy for the next couple of days okay this is past energy of earlier in the week and then the other cards I pull here will be for, for after for the for the rest of the week. Okay, I know that we're technically it's already Friday because it's twelve something on my end. Okay, okay, let's get. goodness I see the okay okay we're, we're that's all right yes look at that oh my gosh I'm sorry they keep on popping up and I'm like shoot okay all right so first off for past energy of earlier in the week we have the ten of wands this is before the man takes all these wands and is holding it on their like over the like carrying all this burden I have picked up on this like feeling that your emotions or you are too much of a burden you feel that you have too much burden you don't want to burden anyone with your issues and that's why you're taking it all on yourself and it's a decision whether to do that or not but if you just like relinquish control, and that's why we have the strength card as the first card I pulled. Relinquish control to feel peace, to feel better. Relinquish the control just a little bit so you can breathe. Oh my gosh, I keep bumping into the mic. I'm so sorry. I got too close. And then here, see, this is before the two of pentacles, which is somewhere around here. I'm not going to pull them out. <laughs> but this is the two of pentacles, okay? And it's like, okay, well, I can do this. The same thing. It's, again, carrying stuff and taking it like, upon yourself to do something. Well, I got to balance my work. I got to balance this, this situation. I got to balance this relationship. I am in control. This reading is about relinquishing it. Relinquishing control. See, look, we got the Knight of Pentacles about to take the pentacle. And the frustration is that the pentacle hasn't been delivered. Well, shit. Okay. And see here, I love these decks, by the way. This is the before tarot. That's why I wanted to do before. I took the, the regular that I did the, I'm doing before, and then I'm going to do after. Love it. And I also have another one, but not for this reading. I'm going to stick to this. In fact, I don't think I wouldn't even pull Oracle cards. <laughs> um, it started so heavy. I feel a little bit lighter, but I'm still feeling like this pressure in my chest. 
<sighs> these readings have gone so intense. Oh my god. Uh, my Scorpio moon ass is too intense. <laughs> yes, blame it on that me. <laughs> anyway, so here the man is covering his eyes to not look at the cups. This is usually depicted by the seven cups in the clouds with all sorts of um, things inside the cups. These cups are empty. And we were talking about cups being filled and all this stuff. And it's like, hmm, I'm sensing, might as well close my eyes because these cups are going to stay empty. I'm done. I'm done with this. You guys know. And then on top of that, this is the three of swords. Okay, listen. We did not get here in the middle. We did not get the three of swords before. This is before the swords protrude through the heart. Okay. Where's my water? Oh, this is intense. Okay. Okay. The heart is not... Stab, there's no this the swords haven't stabbed the heart in this one what is being created energetically right now in the collective and that's why it's so fucking heavy is it's in preparation it's like about to stab the heart because of this hurt that the that that the collective is feeling but there is still a way out collective don't self-sabotage be kinder to yourself and relinquish control. It is okay. Take a moment to breathe. You don't have to do it all. Not by yourself. Okay, I'm going to get the after tarot. So what's going to be for the rest of the week, including the weekend? Let's see what's coming. Excuse me. What's happening right now? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me again. What's happening right now is a balancing of the energies. And that's why it's so... It's the transition of this thick... Oh, okay, that card fell. Hold on. How dare. I'm trying to get it. Can my toe <laughs> move the card over it? <laughs> I got it. Of course, of course, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I don't mean to be aggressive. <laughs> I don't. I don't. The, the poor dice are like, hey, we had nothing to do with this. Listen, the card that fell on the floor was the fool in the after. I'm done. <laughs> I am not reaching for the dice. <laughs> I'll fix that for the thumbnail later. I'm just like, fuck. <laughs> smell the roses. Wake up and smell the roses. But look at that. This fool literally, like, <laughs> is holding on to the edge of the cliff because they are like, but what is this? Is that like the ground? Or is that the, listen, I, I'm not sure, but let's just say that, oh yeah, they're stepping down onto something. It looks like something, it doesn't look like it's just that they're falling, or maybe it's just me. Or maybe it depends on how you <laughs> interpret it. I interpret it always like, okay, the, the fool took the leap, and it's now like, you know, like whatever, nonchalant. I'm just going to interpret this as, this re the rest of the week you're gonna find oh oh there's the fool <laughs> hello <laughs> uh, um hold on <laughs> damn this reading has got me drinking water every five five seconds <laughs> oh yo what's up we got ace of wands on the bottom <gasps> oh, oh my god oh th th mm -mm -mm. okay Yo, the week is going to get better. <laughs> Listen, here, look at this. Look at this shit. Okay, here we have the full meaning 
for a lot of you, you guys are going to take a leap. Whatever it is that you guys have been contemplating, self-sabotage, self-sabotaging. <laughs> what is that? What even? I can't speak. I'm so sorry. It's been a long week, okay? Whatever has been self-sabotaged, it's going to come to an end because you're not going to give a damn anymore. And it's going to spark, ignite. Little bitch is cute. Look at that. He chunky. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> I almost dropped the card too. Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. Hold on. Okay. I got a lot of things to say. Oh, wow. We got two tens here. Mm. Oh, fam. Buckle up. We got a fun weekend ahead. Okay. So we got the Ace of Wands, which if this was a naughty reading, I got stuff to say, but no, we're looking at a cute little salamander <laughs> and look at that. We got the Knight of Pentacles in each deck. The Knight of Pentacles is finally delivering the coin. So whatever decision you've been contemplating in the Two of Wands where you felt that no matter what you do is not going to make a difference, you're going to make your decision and it's going to be the right one for you. Okay, however that may be and so forth, it's going to be the right one for you. And on top of that, I find it funny how this Queen of Wands has a little salamander here too. Queen of Wands is very interesting because uh, the strength card ruled by Leo. Queen of Wands is ruled by Leo. Fiery and going to um, want to inspire you. Keep that fire burning. That passion. She holds on to that wand in confidence. She has so much confidence. You know... And still graceful. This Queen of Wands knows what they want. The heart knows. The heart wants what the heart wants. So something for the heart. And it's interesting because we got the Three of Swords. And that here. Before the, the, the heart is hurt. So this shift that's occurring is going to be. It's going to be life-changing. Something really life-changing is in the works, whether it be this weekend or it's like in in the works. Um, if I'm not mistaken, oh, I don't have my book with me. I, I, my, so I can check the transits. I know that Pluto is stationing direct sometime next week. Um, but on top of that, with all retrogrades, there is a shadow period before and after. So there's still that like adjustment period. But that planet of death and rebirth is going to come back into forward movement. Excuse me. And it's going to shift all the things of that have been transforming in your life. So, excuse me, I see a lot more confidence, fire and passion willing to act on this fire and passion and not only that to end the reading i'll roll the dice but to end the reading we have two ten cards we have the ten of cups again and i i love this one because it's like a little campfire usually see like this ten of cups is like the happy family looking up into the sky with the rainbow okay rainbow of hopes and dreams and so much more here it's the night sky what I see here is that the sun will rise, the sun will rise and show you hope. And when the stars appear in the sky, they will do the same. So whether it's night or day, you won't be alone. You will see your worth and the people around you that you care about will see it too and share that with you. And you see their worth. It's this beautiful exchange. I try to keep it as general as possible because I know that like, I just see a general message for everyone in this reading because everyone's struggling with their self-concept right now. Especially, I don't know what it is about this year, but it's just very transformative. And I see a lot of um, beautiful energy to become the best version of yourself. But 
I see this collective, I see this fam, you're not doing this alone. And the Ten of Pentacles, look at that. I'm seeing this as so much abundance. I see that, yeah, the coins were delivered. It wasn't just one coin. And that coin, that pentacle can mean whatever is worth, whatever is valuable to you, whatever that might be. You deliver it. You deliver upon it. You are showing the world what you are capable of and you're comfortable with showing. You're showing yourself, most important of all. You can look into the mirror and like what you see and say, hey, I'm a work in progress, but you know what? I'm killing it right now. I'm doing freaking amazing. And that's something, that's a lesson that is being reiterated again and again. Even if there are delays, even if you are overworking yourself, even if you want to keep a balance and stay in control by relinquishing just a little bit of it, you're going to be able to taste the sweetness of that wine or whatever um, choice of drink. <laughs> I don't know. Um, or you can keep it as water. I'm just using the analogy. It is going to be rewarding and you're going to feel it with these two uh, these two cards of completion we got completion we got the world there we got a lot of completion of cycles in the coming days so I want you guys to look forward to it and I hope that you continue to remember of how important everything you do is and really oh that was my stomach I'm so sorry <laughs> my stomach agrees my stomach is like listen you're amazing, important, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, so don't doubt that. Oh, that was intense. Okay. I never, <laughs> let's roll the astro dice and end it <laughs> and end this reading. I'm going to go shower and wind down. Okay. Is it this one? Yeah. Okay. Final message for the collective, please. Okay, I need my glasses. <laughs> eh. We got 12th house, moon, and Pisces. Wow, hoo we Double Pisces and the moon? Oh my gosh. Okay. That's, okay, that might, this might not be a message for everyone. I do not want to reach out and read. Ooh, okay. Pisces, moon, and 12th house. I'm leaving that there. I'll move it for the for the thumbnail, but twelfth house is what's hidden from us. Pisces is part of it. Pisces rules the twelfth house in astrology. The moon is emotions. So um yeah. There is this these are hidden emotions. Afraid to come to surface. This might not resonate for all of you, but there is hidden emotions that want to come to surface, but there is a part of you that feels that there's no point in sharing these emotions because there's no point. Whether, whatever the reason might be that you have in your mind, that's not going to change anything. It's not going to do anything for you. or um, And it's not hasn't been worth taking that leap of faith in your eyes. or It is worth it, but is it worth It's like this back and forth this back and forth pool that's Libra season for you and it's interesting because I'm seeing the four of wands in this angle from the, the dice but it's reversed like um like there's no re there's I don't have anything to celebrate in this because I haven't been able to make a decision so you're kicking yourself over not having made this final decision to take a leap of faith or whatever. And it, there's a fear that there is not a certain type of progression to your liking. And so that's why there is this, this, this like, the cups are empty. The cups are empty. But no, the cups are full, full of love, full of love and, and respect and cherish. And 
I, I feel so much love. So if this is a love situation for those that are, and that's why I see the three of swords, it's that self-sabotaging energy. It's like, this is not going to change anything. And there's a lot of self-deprecating energy that I picked up on, but I'm not going to talk about it because we're going to end this on a high note, but I do see it. And I, <clears throat> excuse me, so sorry. Um, the queen of wands energy wants to reiterate to the collective. Hey, if you need a boost, you need some, you need some, oh my God, why the hell did I think of magical juice? I don't, <laughs> why? <laughs> you need some magic. I've got you. You need some inspiration. I'm here. You need reassurance. You always have that from me. I am hearing that so clearly. So trust yourself a little more in your decision making. If you are fearing a decision, take time for yourself. It's okay. It's okay to take time and breathe. The situation is coming to a completion and it's the moment you relinquish control and it feels right yo oh shit okay the strength card in regards to a love reading a love uh, like romance and relationships it's also a desire to it's this um lust driven fire to reach out and um i'm hearing okay <laughs> i'm hearing seal the deal but but it is also that bravery that courage to step forward i'm so sorry I, I bumped into the mic again it's that courage and maybe some of you don't feel courageous and that's why there's been this self-deprecating energy and that's why it's been gray skies gray clouds not being able to see the cup being handed to you because you're stuck in self-hatred. Oh my God, stomach. My stomach agrees again. You see, <laughs> listen, peanut gallery, I am not asking for your opinion. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> um, how embarrassing. Anyway, that is what I see, guys. I am going to end the reading here. I hope that that was helpful in some way to some of you. Um, Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys are safe once again, sending many feel good vibes your way. And remember, you're doing great. You're amazing. Don't be so hard on yourself. If you need more time for you, you know you got it. Because when you reach that conclusion, when you get to deliver that pentacle, that, that, what that, that value, oh my God, stomach stop. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this time it's not my dog. My, my dog is all tuckered out because I, I took her out today. So it's like, like she was out for a good bit and she's like, I'm not coming to you. I, I'm sick of you, mom. It's like, excuse you. <laughs> Either way, you've got this. You're doing amazing. You've got this, you know? All right. I'm, oh my God, I'm so sorry. My stomach, stop it, stop it, stop it. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed, gosh. Anyway. Feels foolish. Oh, shit. Gas boo. <laughs> I feel foolish. I don't want to look foolish. I don't want to feel like this. I don't want... Oh, my gosh. Listen, reading. I said I closed this. It was... Uh, <laughs> Yo cerré el libro. ¿Por qué? <laughs> ¿Por qué? <laughs> uh, yeah. You're not foolish. You're not silly. You're not, you're just being you. You do you. You do you. You know yourself best. Trust yourself. Trust your truth. And you got this. Okay, I'm ending it before my stomach decides to chime in. I chimed in with a grrr. <laughs> All right, love you guys. Until the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.